The Missouri Chamber of Commerce surveyed about 500 CEOs from across the state. Two thirds of them said they don't believe Missouri's high school graduates are well prepared for success in the workplace. And the reason they think that was made very clear. Ultimately, people need to work together or they're not going to achieve whatever goal they're aiming at. Dan Meehan leads the Missouri Chamber of Commerce, which recently asked hundreds of CEOs for their greatest concern about the incoming workforce. The vast majority, 62%, said it was finding employees with professional skills such as showing up on time, dressing appropriately, verbal skills, and the ability to work with others. That need is largely what motivated Missouri's Education Department to develop a set of standards for social-emotional learning, meant to bridge that educational gap. But many parents, like Chris Brooks, were skeptical of the need for such standards. I don't disagree that, that we need people who can work well in the workplace, that we need students to stay on task and you know, keep classroom order. I think the, the big problem is once you get past all the fluff and the fancy sounding words, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> right? And how is it going to be done? But what was loud and clear from Missouri's business leaders. Employers are looking for people that can solve problems, that can work collaboratively together uh, and, and figure out solutions to the challenges they face. That's the bottom line. Meehan pointed to the recent standstill in the U.S. House of Representatives as an example of a group of team members that cannot or will not work together. That dysfunction paralyzed that body. So dysfunction will paralyze any employer, whether it's manufacturing, banking, professional services, you cannot have dysfunction. Backlash to the Education Department's social-emotional learning standards prompted the board to dial back the project to an optional resource for schools. But the group admitted this problem isn't going away. In Jefferson City, I'm Joe McLean.